Hello guys, A Andrew here again, and today I'm going to show you my Lego Breath of the Wild Calamity Ganon. I have been working on him for a very long time, and I think he's good enough to finally put out there in the world for people to see him. It took me a very long time to make him, and to this day... I am still making him better and better every day. So, this means a lot. So let me get started with the head. Now the head, I'll just rip his head off. Here it is. I custom painted his face. And I took a file to give him that crown look that he has. This piece is a um, Star Wars Mega Constructs um, shoulder armor. Now, if you don't feel like painting, this recently came out in a Lego Spider-Man set from Molten Man. And I think this makes a great Calamity Ganon head. Now if I put it on the rest of the head, I think that looks like a good Calamity Ganon. If you don't want to paint, you can just buy this set. It was a $20 set, so I knew as soon as that set came out, I was going to get it for a Calamity Ganon head. Here's his hair, his wild mane of hair, and it just connects with a bald joint. Like so. Come on. Oof. Sorry about the camera. Oh man, now his head don't want to go on. Alright. Here we go. This is embarrassing. And I just broke his hair. Let me just put that back on. Alright. Uh, I'll do his sword arm next. He's a pretty big dude. Here it is. I used a reboot bionicle sword for the sword. And it, this arm is a lot thicker and bigger than his uh, left arm. Because that's how it is in the game. And you know it just attaches with a axle into that piece let's do his normal hand here it is it's nice and tiny nothing spectacular his elbow can bend thanks to this really old piece I use this piece a lot in my calamity Ganon because I had so many his fingers can individually bend where you can get them into some nice poses and stuff. And let's move on to the first two arms. This one is like the scissor arm right here. Oh, great. I just broke it. Honestly, I'm just going to rip off his butt. Nah, I'm not. It's, it's going to be hard to put back on. So here it is, it attaches with a ball joint to a, one of these um, clip pieces on a med on two medium ball joints to the body. It's really hard to see because his body's black. I use two Nexo Knight sword pieces, like so, where it can pinch. Let's do the other side. Here's his... Um, other hand that's all um guardian blade up it's attached in the same way just the hands different i use some cool transparent claw pieces here's the gun from windblight ganon i used one of these um cool technic launcher things attached to a ball joint and his elbows can bend like so, 
all of his arms are like this one. I'll uh, take this arm off where you can get a better look. All of his arms are like this. Built in a very famous way. Like so, you know. With Technic pieces and a 2x2 two two tile on nougat. And that just attaches right there. His um, spear arm is just like the gun arm, but with the spear. And it can move up and down and rotate. And it's on a ball joint connected to the body. His sword arm from Thunderblight Ganon is using a bionicle piece attached to a piece of armor attached to the arm. And you know, it can bend. Uh, his normal arm that's on the back of him is built the same way with a hand. And his butt is pretty detailed. You know, it's all guardianed up with some cool wave patterns from a certain piece. Um, I used a piece from Molten Man. And I used a Nexonite shield piece because I thought it was cool looking. His guardian legs on the back are using the smallest ball joints. I used four of them on each leg with a skeleton piece and his toes can bend with this um, tooth piece. And those are connected to a ball joint, connected to his uh, body. And, um, I'll show you the underneath of him. Uh, this stand piece is just for he doesn't fall because a lot of the ball joints are weak. I used a Hero Factory uh, face piece for the underneath of him for some more Guardian armor. And, uh, yeah, so this just attaches right here for he can stand better. And, um, something I will make clear is I will not be doing a how to make on him because, uh, it, he's a pretty, um, advanced thing to make. So I just don't think I can make a how to on him yet. I'll put him next to a minifigure, next to my Link from Breath of the Wild. He's um a pretty big dude. He's pretty big. Now you can have him slice Link up. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it there's nothing really much to do there's a lot of details on them if you have the game you probably notice a lot of details so um yeah i'm andrew and this has been my custom lego calamity ganon please leave a like subscribe and leave a comment Telling me if I did a good job or not. And how I can make improvements. I've been Andrew. Signing off.